합니다. Greetings. I'm Dr. Kim y o n of Online Surgery. Today, I'm going to share with you a surgical clip, and I'm honored to do so. This is the patient of the day, 47-year-old male patient. If you look over here in the posterior area, implants are placed in the lower anterior area, the current bridge. There is quite a lot of mobility. As the patient received implant treatment from a different dental clinic, he hesitated in treating this area. And this is the case for today. If you look at the lower anterior area on the standard image, there's a lot of alveolar bone destruction on CT in the case of number 32. Severe alveolar bone destruction can be observed. There is no labial bone left. In the lower anterior, I decided to remove the bridge, and this is after extraction. In number 22, you can see periapical lesion. After extraction, you can see that there's a lot of alveolar bone destruction. I applied collagen membrane and used Shuros and Allogenic bone graft. To do socket preservation, this is after five months since surgery. In number 32, socket preservation was done. You can see that up to five months it is well maintained. However, I'm unsure as to how much bone has matured. This is number 41. You can see healing in number 41 and on CT 32 and 41. Number 41 looks okay, however, I am concerned a little bit about number 32. I am going to use one MS kit for surgery. Number 32 and number 41, I'm going to place two implants, that is the plan. There are differences between one guide and one MS. In the case of one guide, the Drill hole can be divided into regular hole and wide hole, diameter 5.1 and 5.8. On the other hand, in the case of one MS kit, guide barrel drill is 3.5 and drill hole is 3.6. In the case of one guide, the offset length is 10.5 millimeter. On the other hand, one MS, more care has been paid attention to areas like contact with the adjacent teeth therefore it was extended by three millimeters making it 13.5 millimeters the offset was extended to avoid contact with adjacent teeth in one guide the double contact concept is very important when double contact is made the deviations or slipping of drill can be avoided in large part the initial drill needs to be 8.5 I'm going to place 10 millimeter implant. However, if you just go straight forward to 10 millimeters, as shown, the drill guide may not be in full contact and it can slip. Therefore, you need to use 8.5 millimeter drill first and gradually increase to 10 millimeter or 12.5 millimeter. I want to emphasize this once again. As for 1MS, if you look at the implant driver, there's a black laser marking. As for MS implant, there are two types for gingival height, 2.5 and 4.0 millimeters. In the case of 2.5 millimeter gingival height, you can do full length drilling up to the laser marking, top part of the laser marking. And if the gingival height is 4.0 millimeter, you can drill up to the lower part of the laser marking to position the implant. I'm going to place a 3.0 MS implant, and this is the sequence for it. And although I did socket preservation, I consider this as normal bone. I did a tissue punch if there is a slope, but I use a flattening drill. For initial drill, I use 1.5 by 8.5 first. For double contact, I use 8.5 first and then use 10 millimeter. If necessary, I can use 1.5, 1.8, and then 2.3, but if I do initial drilling using 1.5, I can skip and use 2.3, and I will not experience major problem. 
Depending on the case, if the bone is too hard, you can also use 1.8. By doing this, you'll be able to place MS implant more safely. As you can see, two implants are planned like this. This is immediate post-op image. On CT, in number 32, implant has been placed nicely. In number 41, it has been placed in the desired position accurately. This is oral image, immediate post-op image. Number 32, we had done socket preservation, so I thought it might be risky to do immediate temporization. Therefore, I created a shell and fixed it using the adjacent teeth using resin. There can be food impaction, but I thought the risks were too high for immediate loading. That was the direction we took for temporization. Let's look at the surgical clip. I'm going to place the one guide template to check whether it's adapted well. As mentioned earlier, in the case of 1MS, the offset length is 13.5 millimeters, so you need to check with the adjacent teeth. And I'm going to use tissue punch to remove gingiva. Because it is lower anterior area, flattening drill is recommended to be used. In the case of lower anterior, the drill can slip, so we need to pay a lot of attention. Fixate the template with your hands. Although the final drill is going to be 10 millimeters, I'm going to use 1.5 by 8.5 1 ms drill for double contact. 1.5 by 8.5 1 ms drill is used and for number 41, 1.5 by 8.5 drilling is being done. Initial drilling is done. Because we're going to place 10 millimeter implant, I'm going to use 1.5 by 10 millimeter 1 ms drill. I'm going to irrigate it sufficiently to minimize heat generation as I do drilling. The bone was not very hard. In the case of lower, it can slip, so I'm going to remove the template and I'm going to use depth gauge to check whether slipping has occurred. I checked once again, no deviation and no perforation. I am positioning the template once again 2.3 by 8.5 drilling is being done for double contact. For number 32 and 41, full length drilling is done. Two point three by ten millimeter drill is used. When you use one MS, you need to use eight point five first, regardless of the length of the final drill. You need to always pay attention to this. Now we are done. MS three point zero by ten millimeter gingival height is two point five. I'm using hand wrench 
an implanted driver to get the implanted position. As mentioned earlier, gingival height was 2.5, so you need to go up to the highest point of the laser marking, which is in black. Primary stability is around 30. The implant has been placed nicely. MS 3.0 by 10 millimeter, gingival height 2.5 is being placed in number 41. I am placing it approximately 70-80% using engine. Gingival height is 2.5 and therefore you need to do it up until top and you can see the torque here. Because I knew the position on CT ahead, actually I made slight alteration using my hand as I closely observed it. In the case of MS implant, it is one body implant and we need to secure ideal space for prosthesis. This is in occlusion, you can see that the implants are placed in desired positions and this was how surgery was closed. I've shown you surgery using 1MS as I've shown you in the image, although it is a 1MS, the primary stability was not that good. That's why I didn't provide a fixed temporary prosthesis. I utilized adjacent teeth to provide temporization so that no load is applied to the implant itself. I've shown you how to do implant placement using 1MS. Thank you for watching.